Welcome to another Pike and Shot battle. In this match against Nayslith, I have the Polish 1525 against Ottoman 1494. So the Turkish list has very good cavalry, a core of veteran Janissary infantry, and great artillery, which is unfortunate because I get light guns. And as match host, I started this side. So look at this beautiful artillery platform. Mm, unfortunate. Uh, the Polish infantry is pretty interesting. It's got light spear and arquebus. So cavalry charging medium foot get 100 POA. In addition to any impact capabilities they may have, which Turkish cavalry in this period are mostly bow cavalry, so it'll be 100 plus any quality modifiers. In melee, of course, these guys have no melee capability, although arquebus does cancel out armor. Basically, these guys are great and rough, and they can survive ever so slightly longer than regular arquebusiers in open terrain against cavalry. Max out my light cavalry, three Balkan light horse lancers, two hussars with bow and sword. For non-light cavalry, I have mandatory volley banners, average armored. I brought along one hussars, which are unarmored average bow swordsmen. Four demo lancers, well armored light lancers with no missile capability, and maxed out on my lancer banners, which in this period are half bow, light lancers, swordsmen, superior. So these should be able to pretty much murder any Turkish cavalry in the open if they don't get disrupted by, you know, the huge pile of cannons first. So, a smart thing to do would be to hang out back here and try to meet in the open. But we're just going to attack because this is a friendly match and kind of trying to figure out how to crack a position, position like this is an interesting puzzle, which, uh, yeah, we may or may not succeed in. So, most of our infantry is here with our demo lancers ready to charge and our cheaper shooting cavalry and our shooting light horse. Here, a couple infantry units, the vast bulk of our lancer banners, the superior cavalry couple light horse lancers to get the horse archers to buzz off. So this group is going to swing out towards the hill. This group is going to push out this way and attempt to work their way into this rough ground. We'll see how well any of that works out. Okay, let's see if he deploys as I predict. Oh yeah. Really no infantry other than the skirmishers that I can see. Alright, we have two light horse to four on the swing. Lots of really strong cavalry, but we've deployed, so I'm going to stick with the plan. May not be a very good plan, but it should be a fun plan. Next turn. Oh, delightful start.
Uh, there's the infantry. Just one unit, but they are veterans or superior, so very tough. Now, I don't really care about winning the skirmish here. I just care about making sure that my own non-light cavalry can advance relatively unimpeded. Alright, that's everyone. Not sure if this is a good idea, but we're very much committed now. Next turn. They might frag. Huh, not yet. If we could get infantry support into this rough, that would be great, but I think it's a bit far. Just leaving lanes for his lights to evade through, I think. Well, you're screwed anyway, so let's see if you can do something. Nope. Keep pressing on. The lights just need to sacrifice themselves in order to give us time to get into position. And worst case scenario, our demo lancers just get murdered here. But it gives our drabi time to post up here and shoot with their guns. I'm kind of inclined to try to preserve my one unit of good cavalry on this side. Okay, now we could charge. That's not great, because they're uphill. Well, shove these off. That's fine. Stay just out of bow shot. Hmm. 
Yeah. We're only at plus 12 in the melee with armor advantage, and that's it. All right, so let's hold off for a minute. Next turn. Yeah, that frag was probably inevitable. So that's going to force us to get a move on before we really want to. Pretty grim start. It's a pretty grim start. Disrupts. Lights behind us. Ugly business. Really? Okay, sure. Good. same here. Okay, you distract. You slow that down so we can at least kind of get out of there. And we're going to keep aligning this up. Yeah, so a uh, <laughs> direct charge uphill, not, not the best, but we're kind of forced into it. Again, the alternative was to just hang out back here, and that's no fun. Next turn. Not surprising. Oh, that is unfortunate. Huh. 
<laughs> really? Okay. Alright, that's how it's gonna be then. Oh, and then they shield. Oh my god. Okay. Um, sure. What else are you gonna do? Okay, um, you might need to push through there. Can't quite reach anyone. Damn, I was hoping for a better impact than that. No! Oh no. Oh no. We may have been over aggressive here. Charge through. See what that does. Anything? Nope. Come on. Well, I guess I'll take it. Move up, keep putting pressure on, go for a charge, bounce it. Good, might be able to work with that. Hundred height. If we move here and take the volley first, we can charge them. So that's what we'll do because a couple turns we can set up a flank. Fortunately, that's going to mean a very bad time indeed for the infantry. Uh, oh well, so it goes. Next turn. Hmm. Yep, that was kind of about to happen. Quality differentials too much. Good. At least the guns are out of the way. As are mine. Yeah, that's gonna be painful. Ah. I wonder if we can just hold out a little bit. I'm extremely confused. Huh. 
Oh, that'll help a little, but not right away. Drabi are holding out for some reason. Okay. Well, could break them, or I could work on disrupting the spies, or we could charge here. Then we're going downhill. Yeah, I can work with that. Then let's see. Let's do it. Then we'll wait a turn, and then next turn we can charge in for a flank. I didn't fire because I thought if they fire back, we could disrupt, and it's bad enough with this light cavalry behind us. Okay, you try to rear charge there, keep them busy. All right. Set up that flank. Hmm. Kind of tempted to push into this rough ground, actually. Why don't we just, uh, that was a horrible idea. <laughs> okay. Ugh. All right, can you get to safety? Actually, you're temporarily at least already safe, so stay there. Um, I super don't know French. Something about the Polish cavalry. Something, something, something. <laughs> Ooh, that's going to be a flank into our volley banners. Too bad. Bounce it. Good. Looks like we got some breaks going our way. These are a problem, we need to get a move on. Oh, 
Okay, well, let's get this flank in while we can. Huh. Let's try to break them. Good. Hmm, don't know about that. But alright. Next up. Ooh. Wow, that's kind of a shame. Hopefully one of these units bounces off and get another flank set up. Meantime. Shove them off. Then shove them off. Mainly the point of that is to allow us to start moving into action. Okay. You. Good. And what with this unit about to go down, we'll probably want to get out of harm's way bad cohesion checks and all. In the meantime, stay in the rough ground. Good. Can we do anything else with the infantry? Not really. It's an awkward situation. Everyone's in melee, so we can't really do anything. Uh, shift towards this rough ground, I suppose. Shift over towards the other cavalry action, and you might as well just do something. Stay there, try to rally up. Next turn. Good. The Lancer banners held firm, and they hopefully also pursue the enemy out of range. Good. Excellent. It is a tough unit, and I'm happy to break it. How are we still alive here? Well, not very much is really under either player's control. Oh, that's concerning. They're just going to have to turn around and die now. Phew. And they finally break. What a shame. That might charge into the Drabi, and that would also be pretty painful for us. The Light Spear would only slightly deaden the impact. Good. Disruption. Really need to break these two Sipahis of the Porte units before the surrounding cavalry circles in. Ouch. Okay. Um, yeah, that's that's a problem. Do we risk a fallback? Could lead to very bad things. It's uh, pretty bad. Pretty bad, but at least we're outside the charge arc. You can start moving towards that, maybe. Here. 
these lands for banners are going to get charged anyway if we don't do this. So let's see where it takes us. Ah, it could be worse. Fragged. And summon them in. Summon them in and set up that flank. Turn around. Okay, confusing as hell. Really, yeah, <laughs> it just could not be more confusing. We have a solid line of combat here. There's that breakthrough to deal with. And of course, this whole situation. Next turn, we have a lead of 10%. Excellent. Okay, I think because they just engaged in combat, they can't charge this turn, so we should be safe from any rear charge shenanigans. Well, we kind of have to do that. Do we catch them? We do. They hold firm, but it's still a good situation to be in. Uh, this is so annoying. There's really nothing I can do with my light lancers because I just don't have enough of them. So all we can do is kind of buzz around and keep them from shooting any more vulnerable targets. Good, and let's get you up onto this hill. Only a cavalry here. In addition, what to do with you? Uh, they can shoot, so I suppose get here for now. Oh, they're coming. Gotta run away. Next turn, we have a lead now, 23. So it's close to a win. There's still a bit of scope for things to go wrong, but I think we may have secured this. Huh. Nah, we'll lose that unit next turn. go, 26%. 
for a rally, the least honorable way to win. <laughs> uh, wow, that really started off badly, but I think once we just piled enough numbers up onto this hill, it didn't matter. And the Jurabi, a lot of them got overrun, but they are very cheap, and the ones that I did get into action did a lot of damage, so I think they were worth bringing. So, a good game to nice live, as always. And until next time.